Hi there. Uh, this tutorial will be about uh, Python comparison operators uh, using the w3schools.com website. Uh, so I s if you want to follow along or code along, you should go to this website and then click on Python operators. In the previous tutorial, we went over Python assignment operators and arithmetic operators. Um, so yeah, please go to this website and click on operators. So we're going to work on uh, comparison operators today. So comparison operators are used to compare two values. So let's try the first example. Well, let's just, just take a quick look at this table here. So you have the equal equal sign. It's called the equal operator. And here's an example. And then you have the not equals and so on. Let's give it a try. So recall the purpose of this, of the comparison operator is to compare two values. So in here we have five and three. So we're comparing the value five to three. So it's, um, we're using the equals comparison operator to compare five to three. So what do you think is this, is five equal to three or no, it's not equal to three, right? So that's why it says false. So I want you to give it a try, type this out. Obviously, if you're a developer or you're a programmer, you know how this works, but just to, you know, get the hang of coding in Python, uh, just type it out just for the sake of typing it out. Okay. So print X. I mean, this is basically convention in other languages, but for Python, it's the same thing. Equal equals. It's to test if two values are equal. Okay. Um, and if you run this, you should get false. Of course, if I put five here, five would be equal to five. And we, we have false again. Uh, let me see what I did here. No, oh, this is in comments here. Let me put five here. In other languages, you have the triple equals. Uh, I don't think they have that in Python. So yeah, it's, it's not, it doesn't exist in Python, but so double equals, okay? And that checks to see if two values are equal. Let's go on to the next one. So not equals. So it's basically the same thing. It's just the opposite of the equals uh, comparison operator. So in this case, five and three, the same example returns true because five is not equal to three. Press run. Okay. And then code it yourself. So we'll leave this alone. And then I want you to just copy this, uh, comment that out and write print X is not equal to Y. And again, five is not equal to three and that's true. So if you press run, you get true. If you put five here, right? Five, is it true that five is not equal to five? That's false, right? So we should have false. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So greater than. So I'm sure you've you've already seen this, but um, we'll just try the example. So press run, and then type print, comment it out, and then try it again. So type print x is greater than y is this true is five greater than three yes it's true so we should it should return true okay let's try the next one so less than so it's basically the same thing except for this less than symbol so so now the question is is five less than three uh, no, five is not less than three, so it's returning false. Okay, press run. 
and then comment this out and type print y is less than I'm oh, sorry x is less than y and should return true uh, false sorry okay so five is less than three is five less than three no it's not so that's why it's returning false if we you could reverse these and you'd get true okay you can give that a try yourself let's go on to the next one greater or greater than or equal to so the syntax is this, this alligator jaws pointing at the x and then the equal sign so it returns true so five and three again returns true because um five is greater than or equal to three All right so let's run that Now we don't need to use variables. We could just put the values in directly. So just to make it easier to understand. So uh, five, three. Okay. So is five greater than or equal to three? Yes, it is. Okay. What about three? Is three greater than or equal to three? What do you think? True, right? Okay, five is greater than or it's also equal to three. Okay, so let us try the next one. I want you to code this out. Try it yourself if you don't already know this. Uh, so less than or equal to. Okay, so again, let's just write, we'll just write the values indirectly. So five and three. Okay, so run, so before I press, I'll just press run. So is five less than three? Yes, uh, sorry, no, it's five is bigger than three, right? So that's false and it's definitely not equal to three. So that's why it returns false. Now, what if we put four here? Is four less than or equal to to three no it's greater than three so we should have false again what about three is three less than or equal to three true it is equal to three okay so that's why this returns true okay so that covers um, Python comparison operators in the W using the W three schools, uh, dot com Python tutorial in the next, uh, Python tutorial, we're going to go over Python logical operators. Uh, you'll come across this very often and it's the operator that's written out and, or, and not. Okay. So see you in the next one. Thanks for, thanks for watching.